Alright guys, we're going to go get started. We're waiting for a few guests, but I'm sure they will they will straggle on in. As many of you know who have been to Trappy's Beer Dinners in the past, these are marathons, not sprints. So, uh, <laughs> pace yourself. Um, in the history of Trappy's Beer Dinners, no one has ever gone home hungry or thirsty that we are aware of. Um, so, if there's a beer that you encounter um, that you particularly like, let your server know later in the evening if you want to go back and try that one again. It's totally fine. So, um, anyways, I do have the honor tonight of uh, introducing Hildegard from Earthel Brewery. And um, we a huge fan of this brewery. Years and years ago, before, um, you know, prior to 2004, when, you know, we were able to finally get Earthel beers in Georgia, um, I remember one time in New York, probably a decade ago, encountering um, these bottles with this, this um, you know, very interesting looking gnome on it and uh, and any, anyways ended up putting a few of them in the suitcase bring them home and that it was, it was one of the first introductions I'd had to uh, to Belgian beers and especially um, you know some of the ones that were that were quite different I thought and um, and so we were particularly pleased when um, when Earth of Beers were made available to us um, in the, I guess 2004 2005 and, and particularly thrilled to uh, build a board. Here so I want I want to just open the evening up, uh, let Hildegard uh, talk about the brewery and, and about brewing, and, and throughout the course of the evening, any questions that you guys have, her, uh, please feel free to ask. So, anyways, Hildegard, cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Well, good evening, everybody. I am Hildegard. I am the brewer of Earthfall, and this is my husband, Boss. He is the creator of the little note that you like so much. <laughs> on the, on the glass. We are from uh, from Belgium, Ruisleden. That's a very small place between Ghent and Bruges. So that's the northern part of Belgium where we normally speak Dutch. So excuse me if my English is not perfect this evening, but I will try. Okay, so uh, and if you don't understand something, just ask me and I will try to repeat it again. Um, this evening we will have um, a, a lovely uh, dinner I have seen with, uh, with our peers and we are so proud that our beers are served over here. We have started in 2000 with, with our company and uh, the US has been supporting our company from the, very, from the very first day. So we have been exporting towards uh, the USA so many years but here Georgia always has been a problem because you had a ridiculous law that you couldn't <laughs> here, sell beer. Here. And you know in Belgium we only drink heavy Confirmative beers, and we were like, "What are they? Are, are they like that over there?" But then we came here, and it's really incredible. People are open-minded. Nevertheless, you uh, for ten, so many years you were not able to buy legally a beer like this here. But people are so open-minded and willing to learn a lot about uh, new beers. Uh, as I said before, we started brewing Ertel in 2000. My husband ha had written a story about little... Little gnomes. Yeah. Little gnomes. Yeah. And uh, we both were, were, were working for uh, uh, La Trappe, Koningshoven, the monastery uh, in, uh, in Holland. And uh, I was doing some marketing, Hilgard was brewing over there. And we say to each other, what we do for someone else, why don't we do it ourselves? I mean, eh? you can make terrific, great beers, and I've got this little story about little guys drinking beer all the time because they think they will get their hair back, so... <laughs> I think it's written out of frustration, I, I admit. There is a hat. <laughs> and um, so we started in 2000, and we had this, this, this first beer, and... It, was a success. It changes our life, and still yeah. And uh, I have to say, many people um, think uh, of beer as a as a meal-like thing. Most beers are are brewed by by men and stuff like that. And then they see a woman that's in charge of a brewery, and they often ask me, "Why did you become a brewer?" Well, the ask, the answer is very simple. I was born in heaven. I was born in Belgium, so it's there all the time. I love chemistry, I love good food, and that's the reason why I became uh, a brewer. 
and uh, meeting someone that uh, is very fond of drawing and marketing, well, that's number two and that's the way we got started. Yep. Um, is, is now the first course? Yeah, the first course will be on just yeah. a few minutes. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, the strategy of Vertal always has been that uh, we brew with, with other breweries. So, since 2006, we brew our beers at Koningsvogel, La Trappe. I don't know if you know the beers of La Trappe. It's a Trappist yeah. monastery in Holland. There is where we have been brewing uh, our beers since 2006. Um, we have the Cesarier, the Hoppet and the Samurant uh, over here. And, uh, it has been lovely to be working together with, uh, with the monks and they uh, have been... It was uh, the place where we met, so uh, I was not a monk. <laughs> <laughs> she was not a nun. <laughs> thank God. No. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but one of the first questions that the monks asked us, are you married? So, yeah, yeah of yeah. course. So then it was good to go and brew our beers over there. The, brews that, uh, the beers that we try to make um, are always Belgian, um, typical traditional Belgian beers, but with a kind of an, um, twist to it. The beer that you have right now is, uh, is a season year. It's a 6 ABV, it's, fe it's very well bittered and it has a little bit of um, wheat in it. It's not really a saison, it's not really a wit, it's not really a gold meal. I don't want to be pushed in a kind of a style. I'm the kind of a brewer that uh, people uh, event styles for. But I will talk about that a little bit later. And, the puppet. and it won. Oh. Yeah, he's very proud of that. But Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we won the World Beer Award as best uh, Belgian, best beer ale of Europe. Hey. Yeah. 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 Awards, awards are given every day, but I think people drinking our beer, that's our most important award that we can get every day. And on the other hand, winning a medal, it's very nice to throw a party afterwards. So that's, uh, that was that was really really fun. Um, I want to introduce you with a new word. In Belgium or here, you always say when you raise a glass, cheers. In Belgium, we say uh, gezondheid, gezondheid, so at your health. But those little guys, they say, is that the only thing that you wish to me? Don't you wish me a little bit more luck, health? Uh, a beautiful wife, a beautiful husband, of course, uh, the money, uh, all the money in the world, everything that's important to you. And if you look at the back of your glass, you see the small world, uh, word, fâché, and that means I wish you everything that's important to you, and you put the logo towards you and fâché, with whom you are raising the glass. So, fâché to you all. Fâché. Fâché. Fâché.